All right, time for some solo gathering in the black zone. And since I'm in the Lumos portal once again, or rather still, since my last run, I'll check out those tier 6 snow maps close to Limhurst. Since in the past, I have been getting some pretty solid money. While doing so, and his ability does not hurt. Going with mining gear, gathering those, let's say, medium tier resources. I mean, to be honest, I usually have been getting quite a bit of basalt as well. So not only medium tier gathering. This one tier 7 snow map that I'm going to enter relatively shortly. As more often than not, a little bit of tier 7 stone lying around. It's not going to make me rich, but still better than gathering tier 6 resources. It's rather rare that I find the other tier 7 resources there being available usually those are quite empty but let's see how it's going to be today also i'm going a little bit earlier than usual so it is possible that this tier 7 snow map is going to be a bit more dangerous than usual The closer you get to the server maintenance, the safer it gets. And right now I'm still like 3 hours away from the server maintenance. Likewise, it's a little bit more dangerous. I've, I see quite a few tier 6 animals lying around. But I kind of don't want to lose my invisibility. Because it's not that easy to escape from this map with this mount. It's been a while since I've seen dangerous people in this map, but... There were like four tier 6 animal corpses lying around with hide still waiting to be taken. I was definitely considering this looks like a scout this looks like something I don't want to see this on the other hand really does look like something I want to see medium chest in three minutes probably shouldn't be going for it One hundred thirty k. Pretty good start. What's about those big stacks? Seven point zero, seven point zero, six point zero. I would kind of like to gather all of those, but I don't know how dangerous it is right here, right now. Having this weird guy standing in the entrance of the map, medium chest. Being ready in two minutes. Ah, I have no idea. And it respawned. Yeah. That's good. All respawning. Rather replenished a little bit. A tiny bit. It's looking a little bit weird. This map. It's looking a little bit like there is a something going on. But this does not necessarily have to be the case. And a medium chest would be extremely valuable, potentially. So, I'm not even sure if I don't want to check it out. 
still got the chance. One minute should be enough to get there. Let's take a look. Oh, well, I'm pretty far away. One minute may not be enough. Let's take a look. 5.1 ore. I would gather it. Tier 7 basil. The big stack. I mean, with the medium chest coming up, it's quite the good opportunity to gather those big stacks. But those big stacks are not that insanely valuable anyways. 5.2 is pretty good. 6.2 is really good. I'm running low on time though. 7.1 I'm not getting there in time I'm seeing quite a few resources Not taken yet Now it's taken This is looking pretty safe. This is looking like I would have gotten that. Is this guy actually chasing me? No, he is not. Oh, for a moment I thought this was uh, rare Sunflex. I mean, I saw a tier 7 healer. So the tier 7 healer guy is together with this panther guy. Well, this is rare sunflex. Okay, so I would not have gotten this big stack. Is my conclusion. Seeing the the panther guy. They, uh, the panther guy had the same guild as the tier 7 healer. And him being a panther pretty much means that he would be able, I mean, that I would guess that he would try to gank with his invisibility while his healer do this. Opening the chest. What is this guy? I'm seeing a lot of people, actually, to be perfectly honest, in this rather short amount of time. I suppose the guy that I've just seen was transporting stuff from his hideout. That's what I would guess. The resources here are pretty good, though, so far. Another person. I'm really seeing a lot of people. I definitely want to stay cautious. Another person. It's just a 4.1 fire staff user. Don't care too much about this guy. But I definitely want to wanna be... A little bit more careful when those tier 8 people run around. Finding good stuff so far though. Nobody seems to be gathering, I guess. I mean, somebody did. Seeing so many people feels kinda dangerous. The resources are looking good though, which usually correlates, to be honest. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a quick look behind the area. It may be interesting.
if it's not completely empty because there will be those high level resources basically behind the static area one more or elemental i've seen another one already but i had different priorities at that time So does this mean that the elemental enchanted itself afterwards? 6.1 or do I want to go there? I kind of do. kind of don't. Let's go for it. It's not that much money, but I also have tier 8 or gathering gear equipped. Does this mean this elemental got enchanted? So many resources. Okay, this map is looking pretty good. So maybe it is dangerous. It is possible. Anyhow. Did this resource mob get enchanted after I killed it? Or was it buggy? And it was already enchanted and it simply was not showing. In theory, it doesn't matter too much to me since I'll kill all of them anyways. It would only be problematic for me if I would be ignoring enchanted tier 5 or elementals. This would be quite sad and bad. Seeing so many resources, I could get quite some money today. If I continue finding... What? Is this map dangerous right now? I mean, I've seen a 5.4 Panther or something. Was it 4.4, 5.4? I think it was 5.4. Using a Panther. <laughs> What is this stuff? 7.1, 7.2, 7.1, 7 7.1. What's going on? Money. That's some pretty crazy money. Not gonna say no to that. I mean, not all of those are full, to be fair. So the money is not that crazy. But considering that I'm only running around for 30 minutes, already having 900k profit, basically. Considering that, the situation is looking pretty good. I just need to survive. And I will pretty much need to find more. I need more. I'm very slowly getting there. I'm not sure if I want to skip things or if I don't. I want to prioritize this 6.1 stick, which is not that insanely valuable. What's this thing up there? It's a tier 7 one, so... Let's prioritize that. Oh. Great. A little bit too far away. I mean, it seems like people are doing the outposts. No, wait a second. They're doing the territory thing? Is it... is it... 
what's it called? Mage raiding time? Maybe that's why nobody's gathering in here? I don't know. Oh. Oh. But it would not really explain why resources are up. Would have been enough for the map to be empty if somebody cleared this map one hour ago. Basically. Basically. I did skip some 5.2, alright. I think I did. I'm definitely walking in very weird ways around in this map. So there are quite a few places that I still haven't checked out and some random places that I already have checked out. Gonna be a little bit confusing for me to cleanly clear this map. Those tier 6 R stacks are not that full though. Somebody did take one piece. Did I already gather everything? From that big stack in the north? I don't remember. I, I probably did. There's a person. Looks like a gatherer. Like a gatherer. Not much PvP fame. Not much PvP fame. So I'm not too scared, even if they try to go for an invisibility gank. Seeing ga gatherers though is quite bad. For me. They came from the east, so maybe I don't want to go to the east and instead want to check out the... place on top of the territory even though there is a scary looking mark on the map. 3 out of 5. The scarier the more valuable. I'm still a little bit confused about this map. Seeing these two gather rest though, not good. The map might get cleaned quite quickly. Let's quickly take a look at if there's anything here. I mean, so many big stacks also kind of weird really would either mean that there are gankers or that there's simply no gatherer but now i've seen two now i feel like i'm on a timer those guys will clear the map as well any other resources here next to the territory I mean, there's that sign, yet I'm seeing no attack in 14 hours, what? What the hell? So it doesn't really mean anything at all, I guess? Hmm. Why is that sign there? If it starts in 14 hours. I don't understand. Isn't it a little bit early? Such a scary looking sign on the map blinking. Because something is going to happen in 14 hours? Or am I missing something? 
status clean kill store raw energy 542 and I still haven't managed to get behind the static area which theoretic theoretically still has some potential mm, which way do I want to go I'll check out this cliff while I'm already here not sure if I already have done so I do remember seeing some fiber here and there and then I'll go still so much to check out in this map so much good stuff not too much of it but many many stacks many stacks also want to check out the other basal stack right there because it's it's on a cliff that's a place where tier 7 resources usually spawn 30 out of 30. I'm getting a lot of fame for my tier 7 stone journals. Gathering tons of big stacks. Interesting. Very interesting. But I mean, hopefully I'll find some more highly enchanted resources. That are not Half full only. Found some 7.2, but it only was stone. Found a little bit of 6.3 ore, which is amazing. But only three pieces. 180k. 184k. If that would have been full. Would have given me 300. So far, pretty good profit per time, though. Didn't spend too much time yet in this map. Seeing these two other gatherers, a little. One of those two guys or somebody else finished the stack. Still haven't managed to get behind the static area. Not sure which way do I want to go first. I'll check out this area around this roads portal first, I think. And then I'll go behind the area, but so much time is going to pass. And maybe those other gatherers are going to go there in this um, time. That's a gank. I'll just quickly take a look at if he's chasing me. Doesn't look like it. If he was, I would have tried to get to the road spot. Even a tier 8 ganker, but I believe he didn't have high stats on his items, I don't remember. I don't remember paying attention to that. Dismounted. Theoretically possible that he's solo. He tried to gank me by using invisibility potions. I mean, if I would change my spells to <laughs> fighting spells, it could probably win the 1v1. He's quite valuable. Oh, I mean, I only have a tier 6 weapon. Well, that's kind of bad. But besides that, 
I mean, okay, I also don't have combat food, I also don't have combat potions. So... I probably should not take that fight. Really looks like he was solo but Really looks like it. Swift Claw is also pretty weird. Trade ganking gear by the Swift Claw. No guild. Is there anything behind the static area? Terrible place to be at. For escaping purposes. If I get found by a group, I am dead. There's a person. And this person is completely useless. But why was he here? Maybe doing PvE? Looking for mobs? Lexon mobs? Kinda looks like it. There are some free spaces, basically. There are some resources here, but not too many. Juicy stuff is gone. I'm seeing so many enchanted resources. Is this normal? Basically 20% enchantment rate. So many enchanted resources. A lot of them are not up, but still. Feels like it's unusual. The amount colors that I'm seeing right now. Weird. Also, I'm not too sure if going, if coming here was worth it. Really, not finding much. That's particularly valuable it's not really going to be a huge waste of time or anything but still I can't predict that right enchantment rate seems to be quite high so I can't really say that the potential wasn't there and considering how many resources we are actually there I found only anything that was slightly enchanted. Then it would even have been solid. Like this is it's probably going to be probably was a little bit bad. And that I've came here instead of gathering in the rest of the map. Tons of basalt everywhere. Like always. I mean, not really always, but pretty often. How valuable is one piece right now? 1.2k, that's fine. That's totally fine. Considering the overall state of prices for tier 7 resources, which is not that great, obviously. There have been very different times. Tier 7 resources, flat tier 7 resources being worth 4k, 5k, 7k, 8k. There were different times. No profit so far? 
still being good because of the good start, basically. But right now, I'm not really getting too much. I would prefer to find as much as in the beginning. 7.1 fiber. That's pretty good. That's on a whole different level than the stuff that I found behind the static area. What? Is, it's like 4k? 4k per piece? 5.3. 5.3k per piece. A very different thing. Let's look to 6 sticks. <coughs> to 7 stick up there. Hard to walk efficiently. Nine minutes on that thing, so I don't need to worry too much. 74% carry weight already, and my pork pie is running out pretty soon. Two minutes only. So basically, at the next stack, that I managed to get my cooldowns, I'll eat another one. Better to waste two minutes on the pork pie than to have to throw away resources when getting chased. Reducing the chances of actually surviving the chase and losing usually more money than one tenth or whatever of a pork pie, which is like what? Three three hundred? Three hundred silver or something? I can do one more and I'll have that. Silver bag. Seventy seven But generally, there's really tons of stuff in this map. There are. Oh, there is actually may also be grammatically correct, to be honest. It may be. But maybe not. Tons of resources everywhere. I want better stuff though. And there I go. There's the better stuff. Um, I haven't checked out this cliff. I haven't been at, on this plateau at all, I think. Maybe I've walked around it? I don't think I've checked out the plateau. Yeah, yeah, I haven't checked out the plateau, but I've seen the big stack from below, I believe. <sighs> I'm 100% positive that this ore stack was on 10 out of 30 and I've put it down to 1 out of 30. I did the same with this big ore uh, stone stack there. But... There's a person. This guy does not matter. Looks like an invisibility one shot. Ganking comp. I am not sure if this guy really wants to go into the mists. He is going to not do anything and die. But oh well, it's solo mist, so. There's always a chance. To get lucky after like two hours. And kill somebody that's worth something. Stuff respawning a little bit. 6.3 stone should be okay. 6.3 that, that... This may be worth 3k per piece. 
The 6.2 ore is definitely way more interesting. Nonetheless, I'll take both. Two thousand six hundred for the stone. Pretty good, considering what kind of resources I'm gathering. But this kind of stuff is, of course, way better. And I got the maximum. <laughs> got eight pieces. Slowly but surely, I'm getting closer <laughs> to the big stack. If it continues like that, I will not reach this big stack before I have to teleport back. Oh god. Oh. The only question will be, do I want to come back to this map? I've seen two gatherers. But it does not look like they are clearing the map. I mean, they went towards the west? Huh. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Theoretically possible that the southwestern part of this map is empty now. There's still so much that I have not checked out yet in this map. That's a purple one. If it's tier 8, that would be great. It's tier 7. Goodbye. Not too many tier 7 resources up here on the plateau. Have I been at the eastern part? Yeah, I've been there, right? Pretty much. Then there's this cliff left. Haven't been in the south. Checked out everything here. So, this part of the territory, the south, the west. Thirty out of thirty. Nobody wants to get the basalt. I mean, I'm level eighty-three on tier seven stone. So I'm gathering it in a with a decent speed. Otherwise, it would probably also not be worth it for me. And getting quite the high gathering bonus just from having a high gathering level in the profession. Above 40% just from the level in tier 7 gathering plus pork pie. There's a person. This person does not matter. Does not matter. He's looking at me. He does not have invisibility potions. He may have friends with him. Almost looks like I'm not going to reach the 100% carry rate from this big stack actually. Interesting. I'll be able. Ah, yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm going to leave one piece on the stack. This dude is very interested in me. 98% carry weight. Both of 
himself, but don't. So he indeed had a friend with him. I mean, it's legitimate to try ganking once. I may just be AFK. Oh, 6.2. If I'm AFK, they have a realistic chance of killing me. Or if I'm disconnected. 5 out of 5. Juicy. I may teleport already. Cost me 100k. I feel like... I'm coming back to this map. So far, this map has been pretty good. This profit is quite extraordinary. Looks like almost 3 million power. Almost. I will need a few more journals though. Since I'm only running for uh, around for 40 minutes, almost 3 million. Anyhow, I need more journals. Mm, and I need more pork pie. So, the fiber stuff, yeah, whatever, let's take one more. Definitely more of that. Actually filled both. But one of those was already half full. Um, that's fine. Okay, so pork pie, prospect the journals. That's it. Uh, with how many did I start? Eight? Alright. And if it works this well, let's just go again. How valuable am I? 1.8 million. It doesn't really feel like I have much in my inventory, and still it's so expensive. Oh man, but I'm dying so rarely when I'm gathering in those specific tier 7 maps and tier 6 maps. I'm so rarely, I think like 1 out of 10 runs or 1 out of 15, something in between those two numbers, I believe. And every time when I'm talking about a run, I'm usually getting three to five million loot. Oh, well, let's rather say three to four million. Spending two hours. Ah, uh, 3 to 4 doesn't make sense then. If I'm saying I'm spending 2 hours, I'm basically making 4 million. So let's say 10 runs, 40 million. Profit, kind of. Because I'm getting a little bit more than 2 million power, I feel like. So minus teleport cost, minus journal cost, potions which I'm using very rarely. And pork pies. Basically, 4 million per run. Talking about the tier 6 and tier 7 maps close to the... Lumhouse portal. But also Fort Sterling portal, pretty similar there. Let's say 12. So 48 million. Minus 2 million because I died. So 46 million. Been playing for 12 hours. Uh, 
nothing crazy. But it's really hard to have consistent inc income solo. In groups it's a whole different story. And there's way more profit possible. Not for gathering. <laughs> but when doing PvP. But solo gathering this consistent such decent amounts of money such a low risk at least for me I would assume it would be harder to make more money with different methods except for crafting and transporting and all this garbage where you actually do not play the game. But very profitable, very profitable. Tons of money to be made there. Why are there so many enchanted resources in this map? It's 19%. Has it been lower in the past? So many enchanted resources. Am I lucky? This is not normal, right? This isn't normal. Is it? So many? I found so many. Like, forget about the 0.1 resources, even though 7.1 resources are pretty good. But so many 6.2 stacks, and I think I found two 7.2 stacks. One basal, okay, who cares, but one fiber, I believe, which is valuable. Is this even normal? What's up with this? Is this normal? This map being so good today. I mean, hopefully it continues being this good possible that I'll just fight nothing now. I mean nothing is a little over exaggeration but fighting only little would also be very sad. Still got the south, I got the southwest, the west to check out and then I'll Sadly, go into the tier 6 map, but maybe it's just full with 4.3, 5.3, 6.3 resources. Who knows? Who knows? Enchantment seems kind of insane. It, it went down from 19 to 18%. Interesting. I don't think I've ever noticed such a thing happening while I was in a map. Went down from 19 to 18. First time that that happened to me. Resources, please. Not too full, though. <laughs> 83 on tier 5. Or the same as tier 7 stone. Mm. 
I mean, there are enchanted resources. Those are not the ones that I'm looking for, though. But here at the street, the chances are basically zero to find your seven resources, I believe. Well, this is something. <laughs> This is indeed something. Boom. Nice. I think I have gotten the 5.2 I skipped right in the beginning of this of this tour. Pretty sure about that. So there can be tier 7 resources here. 6.2 is worth 1.3k, that's okay. Even better than tier 7 stone. Very profitable in the south here. Theoretically, the medium chest could be interesting. Practically, the chances are so low. But to be honest, like in the first 10 or 15 minutes, I found a lot of people. Right now, I'm not seeing anybody. I've seen this tier 6 ward guy and this bow of Badon, but uh, I mean, I would not be able to get the chest if those two just stuck around, but at least I would be 100% safe. I can't die to these two people, even if they have one or two more friends, even. Definitely safe there. But I'm also not sure if I want to stick around in this map for so long. There is most likely not enough stuff left in this map. I'm not sure, 15 minutes only. Depends on how much stuff I'm going to find in the west now. I need a little bit of the west already. 6.6. Sure. Even though I really should be prioritizing the 6.2 ore. Uh, well, well, well. Can't always be efficient. Sometimes. Just gotta do what you feel like doing. No gather bonus plus two. Sadness. This is not normal, right? It's just got replenished, so I'll try to keep an eye on the previous 6.2 ore stack. In case of it also replenishing at the same time. So many enchanted resources. Feels unusual. This has not replenished. I mean, basically nothing is full. But there are a lot of mediocre stacks. Quite a few tier 7 stack stacks up as well. Surely some of those will always only be one out of nine, but can't really expect everything to be completely full, I guess. 13 minutes on the chest, 1330. 
who knows, maybe nobody's here and I'll just get rich, just randomly get a legendary medium chest. Nobody contesting me would be pretty funny. Here the enchantment doesn't seem to be too insanely high. Still 18%, that's not that low. Basically still every fifth resource enchanted. So I still got a little bit of stuff here and there that I want to check out. That's a lot of tier 6 ore. Uh, and I started right in the middle. Well, it doesn't really matter. Not going to change much. Mm, so much tier 6 ore. Me aggroing the one or elemental. Will this also aggro the other one? Yep. It does seem to be the case. So this looks a little bit more normal. This amount of 6.2. This amount of enchanted resources that I'm finding right now. Which is bad for my money, but this looks a little bit more normal to me. I would say. But maybe there are just a lot of available stacks on this map right now. Well, at other times, that's not the case, possibly. Possibly. Mm hmm, something. Still finding okay-ish amounts of things. I mean, I got tons of tier 6 or And a bit of enchanted stuff here and there. Like, that, this is solid. This is easily 2 million per hour territory, basically. The stuff I've been finding before was quite a bit better, of course. That was going into the direction of 3 million per hour. But let's see. If I can get even luckier in this map. Not compared to the first time I've been here. But rather if I generally can have more luck today. Mm -hmm. Which way do I want to go? I mean, I would love to have the option to find tier 7 resources, which is not the case here at the street. But I probably also should be checking out oh, it's this Genka dude again. He kind of has okay levels. It's probably going to. Oh, wait. A second. Probably going to try the same thing again. So let's walk away. He's probably also going to contest the chests. Which is kind of sad. I wonder if I already cost him a few invisibility potions. That would be kind of funny. Gatherer again. The Boba Dawn guy again. What are the gatherers in this map doing though? 
doesn't really seem like they are clearing the map. I mean, was he using some swarm dragon thing mount? This thing doesn't have any carry weight, of course. That's a big problem. So maybe he's not gathering low tier stuff just like me. Getting all those tier 6 resources. Theoretically possible that the sword guy and the both badon guy are playing together with the bear paws dude. I would kind of say that it's unlikely, but definitely possible. Just gotta keep that in mind, I guess. And obviously, sadly, the war badon guy uh, still here. But if the bear paw guy is also here, then this may be good, even. Maybe I can just eat another paw guy. Maybe I can just uh, take a look at the chest. It's a 2v1 there. Maybe I can kill one. Maybe I can kill the bear paw guys. guy, because the other guys are useless. They're not very valuable. Or I can take the chest while they are fighting. Who knows? There is potential. I believe I have been here already. Yeah, yeah, I should already have checked this out. I mean, it's been a while. They may have respawned one stack. But very unlikely the timers are pretty long for tier 7 resources five point three feels unusual the amount of enchanted resources that i'm finding here in this map with only 18 percent enchantment rate but I also don't remember how high the enchantment rate was in the past. Gather yeah, a dude. This mount. This mount. So I guess he's just running around for enchanted resources because he doesn't have carry weight. That's on 5.1, it's like whatever. Five minutes. He doesn't even take this? That's 2.5k per piece. <coughs> he really does not have carry weight. <coughs> he really does not have carry weight. I probably should skip the chest. Only five minutes left though. I mean, only. To we'll come back for it. Uh, I don't know. What's that, Basil? No, it's just a table with chairs standing in the middle of nowhere. Nobody sitting there ever. <coughs> Well, there's a tiny little bit for me to still check out. The chances seem pretty damn low that I will get this chest. <laughs> or a kill. I think I should just be leaving this map. I've seen too many people. I think I've seen too many people. I doubt that they will leave the map now. I 
And if they do, then that's because they're I even scarier people. People that I do not want to deal with either. Most likely. A spider. And it's moving. So this is a tier 6 map. And all the tier 6 ore is gone? Has somebody been gathering in this map? I mean, I have definitely cleared the tier 7 snow map that I've just been in. There should really not be anything left there. This map looks really empty. It hasn't really... a place for me to go. Unless I want to walk very far. I'll check out... What am I going to check out? The plateaus here, for sure. I'll check out the plateaus. Only 12% enchantment in this map. Check out the plateaus and the lake and then I'll just teleport. There aren't too many promising places in this map. But definitely possible to just find uh, tons of flat tier 6 ore. Maybe some lucky 5.3, 6.3. One time. <laughs> but mainly looking for just tons of tier 6 ore randomly. Being available. Or point three. That's something as well. That's definitely something I would take. Definitely valuable. Mm -hmm. Not looking too great so far. This map seems to be very empty. A lot of stuff has been taken. Maybe I should gank the spider. Maybe I should go back and check out the medium chest. Maybe, 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 maybe. Those places there are so far away though. Would be very interesting to just snipe some dude though. And take some free money. I would believe that would be kind of unlikely though, right? That weak people would be doing this. Spiders really do not deal any damage. If you got a healer. So my chances for killing somebody are really not that high. The all stacks that I'm finding are pretty full though. Gotta admit that. There's a person. This person is naked. Now they're done with the spider. And I think a lot of uh, enough time has already passed that the medium chest is also gone already. But I'm not sure, I didn't look at the clock. Finding resources here now. Quite full, those decks as well. A lot of 5 out of 5. And that's really what I'm hoping to find in tier 6 maps. Just tons of very full lead. Tier 6 resources. Which is also quite efficient. When you got the gathering gear for that. You'll fill the carry weight very quickly. 
when fighting enough of that. Stone stack was useless. The public one. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> just... Just tier 6 gathering. Not really... Nothing... Nothing special. Not finding anything crazy. But... End of good enough, I would say. Not really? Wow, wow. This is really on the edge. It's quite... I'm not sure if I should continue. But 5 out of 5? 5 out of 5 is quite good. If I just constantly find that kind of stuff. Because the sheer amount of stuff that I'm getting from this. And of course the 6.1 is only 1 out of 5. What is he doing? Is he gathering? Is he AFK? I guess he's gathering. I guess he's just gathering. Rage C S Z K. Those guys usually have a million people. I only wanted to inspect. Oh, it respawned. This guy was not worth any money. I don't think I would have looted a single item from him if I managed to kill him. Can I find more of those full tier 6 stacks? I mean, I some I am finding more, but the frequency is not high enough for my taste. Here and there, one of those isn't full, it's just not such a an insanely big deal. It's probably okay. I would say. It's probably okay. There are so many full stacks. <laughs> Which is something that I basically only see in tier 6 maps. Don't really find that in tier 7 or tier 8 maps, I feel like. So many full stacks. Somebody has found this place before me. Sadly. Mm, 6.3. Purple. I believe there was a name. Wouldn't really make much sense for it to disappear like this, though, I would say. Hmm. Weird. Anyhow. 84% carry rate. I mean, my carry rate is going up like crazy. And I'm just gathering tons of tier 6 resources. That's just how it is. 
any tier 6 stuff? Oh, that's something. That's better. And 5.1 is basically just as good. Kind of. Less carry weight. A little bit less valuable, I believe, than tier 6. He doesn't fill my journals, but for that, less carry weight. Doesn't take as long to gather it as well. Also, basically an argument. Simply doesn't take as long to take it. Actually dismounted to reset the imp. The mage girl would not chase me for too far or for too long. The imp though. The imp. Or well, however people are calling those things. I mean, I could theoretically click on them and read the name. <laughs> but... Those things are so annoying. Ah. One other fight. I guess this happening is definitely also possible. I'm not going to walk down there for this tier 6 uh, fiber. Not going to do that. Ooh. I should prioritize it. It may lose its enchantment. Somebody has been killed. Sadly, only one out of five. This is like the first place where I've found fiber that wasn't either zero out of five or five out of five. Since reaching the point of the side out, basically. There it started. There I found places where fiber was on water, 1 out of 5. Or it was almost always on 5 out of 5. But so many 5 out of 5 tier 6 ore stacks. Actually, solid. Basically, solid, 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 600 pieces, tier 6 or in my inventory. Still not even half of the loot that I have in my inventory. Not even half of the loot, it's worth like 300, what was it, 350k or something. 380k... And that's around one third of the whole loot that I have right now in my inventory. 98% carry weight. So, something. 5 out of 5, yes. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. That's what I want to see. Give me the money. 99% carry weight. It's getting time to teleport. Because this tier 6 deck with all the gathering bonus that I'm getting is going to put me on 100% carry weight here. Yeah. I was able to take the last one though. And once again, 100k teleport costs. Once again. Interesting. I'm closer. I think. And maybe further away. This may count as further away, actually. Not 100% sure. But I'm also not interested enough to actually count. So. 200k teleport costs in total. Of course, I had some journal costs as well. Basically, like, minus 60, 70, 80k or something. So, let's just say, th minus 
300 for resources and teleporting. And in 1 hour and 20 minutes I made 3.7 million minus 300k. That's definitely a little bit more than 2 million per hour. So it was uh, quite successful.